This man claims that these are the marks he bears as a result of months spent inside a government-run jail. Dozens of cigarette burns on his arms and legs that were inflicted on him, he says, by the prison officers with full knowledge of the authorities. He was one of hundreds of men rounded up by the security forces in October as part of a crackdown on Sunni fighters in northern Iraq. They were held at a prison in Baghdad until the human rights ministry gained access and closed the facility. Two of the former detainees have told Al Jazeera that they were pressured using painful techniques to admit to crimes they hadn't committed. Our hands were tied up and eyes covered so we couldn't see the tortures. The informants were dictating to them that this guy did this or did that. And he was swearing on God that this guy has performed the action. But we were all innocent. We were tortured for four long months continuously. Whether or not you recognize what they say, they just keep torturing you. And some prisoners, they died in the torture. Some of the men who were imprisoned are now back home in Mosul, some scattered around the province of Nineveh. But there are fears that others still remain in custody, in similar conditions. The local council of tribes for the province held a protest on Wednesday, calling for the government to respect the rule of law. Torture goes against human dignity. What is a man without his dignity? We are a people of civilization. I don't know why we allowed ourselves to behave like this. We ask the Prime Minister and the Minister of Defense to apologize to the people. The Provincial Council of Nineveh has called for all the remaining detainees to be released without precondition. The LA Times newspaper claims that these are secret jails run by elite forces that answer only to the Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki and stand outside the normal rule of law. In a recent statement, the human rights minister Wijdan Salim says, We dismiss the existence of so-called secret facilities. The government of Iraq will be suing the LA Times over this description. This new revelation is sadly a familiar story to many Iraqis. The country is still marked with the scars of years of government-sanctioned torture under Saddam Hussein. And more recent cases like this one in 2004, when a group of boys were found after months inside a government-run prison with Maliki's position looking very vulnerable after his coalition narrowly lost the recent election. Rosie Garthwaite, Al Jazeera.